Hello beautiful sexy girls. I just wanted to say before we get into the main part that I recorded, um, I, I made this video about um, eating disorders, but I just want to say really quickly, and I didn't say this at the beginning and I should have, I personally have dealt with only restrictive eating disorders and restrictive versus like binge eating, it's, it's like very different ballparks and I don't think that this is a video just for restrictive eating disorders, but it also, that is most of my experience and most of what I'm speaking from and not everything I say will apply to everyone and that is okay, you know, I think we can take and leave things but also, you know, if you, if I see anything that offends you or triggers you, let me know, like I would like to hear that and um, I know this is a sensitive topic and I'm not a professional, I just try my best so if anything offends you or anything, just let me know and yeah it's amazing. I can go back into Premiere, cut something out. Um, so yeah. Hello girls. I wanted to make a video and I'm hoping, I just made another one that was like super yappy and long and I realized I need to, I need to focus, I need to walk in. And I'm gonna do one that's a little bit shorter. Um, but I, I wanted to make a video about eating disorders and eating disorder recovery because for two reasons. Number one, because I don't know if you've been online recently, but it's a war zone. It's a battleground. It's so bad. It's like, it's like worse than 24th Templar. It's like 2005, like forums. It's bad. And I feel like this is necessary for the world, for the people. And also because a couple of years ago, I looked up eating disorder, um, like help for eating disorder, like ASMR. And I realized there was just not a lot. Like there were only like a couple of videos. And I'll try and find them because they were helpful videos, but they, there were just not a lot of videos. And it was really not like it, it was really like sad to see so i wanted to make a little video talking about things that i learned in recovery reminders for you some affirmations and yeah just things that will hopefully help you the first thing is that online is crazy and if you are suffering right now i think you should delete <laughs> at least tiktok and probably also instagram and other things but genuinely it's so crazy there right now like it's actually it's kind of scary like it actually like makes me nervous how bad it is because it and i'm really lucky that i'm not easily triggered anymore and that i've actually been recovering for a while i mean almost three years um into recovery but seriously like the ways in which people will post things like things that i have thought before i'll be honest but things that i would never put out into the world where other people are so easily influenced but there's such young people on that app like it genuinely it honestly think it makes me sick like it's disgusting how people are acting fully grown women like what are you doing and i also want to remind you if you guys come across videos like that like those people are losers like i'm so sorry like it must be sad like they're like they're losers <laughs> like they're losers like what are you doing like you're posting this awful garbage stuff you're a fully grown adult woman and you're like not to not to age shame with eating disorders because it can affect anyone at any age and i'm not trying to say like well, you're an adult like you should be over this i'm not saying that but an adult woman posting it online to like thousands of people hundreds of thousands of people to influence like what are you doing that's disgusting and every time you see one of them i want you to go loser bitch like <laughs> loser sometimes we need to say that okay and i i have to say this like i mean this is like a really bad unpopular opinion i'm not a therapist i'm not i'm a 20 year old girl but like sometimes i think we need to like no we shouldn't say we need to shame people but sometimes we just need to like i feel like if we like i feel like sometimes societally i think we see like restrictive especially eating disorders as like cool which is so wrong and i think we just need to be honest with the fact that it's low-key loser behavior like we need to we need to bully no i'm kidding but like but like you have to, that's actually a big thing for me in my recovery is to just say to myself like that's a, like like i'm like i have to like bitch if i don't eat right now that's lame that's lame behavior this bitch needs to this bitch needs to go on and yeah so just if you see stuff like that just like remember like they're fucking lame they're fucking losers like look at you you're doing real shit they're not and they're doing that online like it's so gross anyways um and so like yeah i just want to like and also like if you need like like one of the biggest things i was thinking about when i was in recovery is like realizing how much energy i got like obviously because you're eating more and just like realizing like oh my god like i can like have hobbies now like i do other things like before i would literally take naps in the middle of the day because i just like didn't want to do anything else i was so tired so just like remind yourself like 
I, you want to have hobbies. You want to be remembered for things that weren't looking a certain way or always trying to look a certain way. Like, like you, I want to have skills. I want to have real things that I can talk about and, and share with people. And the other thing is I like never saw my friends because I was so, not only I had no energy, but I also was worried to like eat around them. And again, like we, like it's hard enough to make friends. You don't need to make it harder for yourself. So just, just remember that. Remember that, remember that you want to be a person who has, who has hobbies, who has skills, who has interests, who has like energy to exert on that kind of stuff. And that's just like, it's so important. It's just like, so like, I keep that in my mind all the time. I'm like, if I don't eat right now, then all I'm gonna do is think about how I wanna eat. And then I'm not gonna be able to get anything done. And so the other thing that also like really helped me was one of the biggest things about like eating disorders, and I still feel this sometimes to this day, is you feel like embarrassed that you have one and you also feel like you're very alone because someone else really talks about it, which is crazy because literally like one in 10 people which I think is honestly a very small, like I think that that's not true. I think it's like one in four, honestly. It's like one in 10 people have like dealt with an eating disorder. I think it's one in four women. Like it's literally everyone. Um, and what you need to remember is that so many people know what you're going through and maybe you aren't ready to talk about it with anyone, but I'm here, I know. And I want to tell you, a lot of girls know, like so many girls know, like seriously, like, like half of the women I know and half, and, and like a good amount of the people I know, like across gender, like just like a lot of people, it's really like you are so not alone. And also I think another big important like part of this is to remember is that like the social, like, like yes, you are one person, but you are also like one part of a huge collective that is this whole entire world. And sometimes we forget like how much we are influenced by everything else that is going on. And the other thing is, you know, a lot of people say this, maybe it's cliche, but I'll say it anyways. Um, you know, years from now, when you're a grandma, you know, you don't want to think that all you did was care about what you eat. You know what I mean? And obviously it's deeper than that. Um, but also just like, there's, there's so many other things to experience. And, you know, like I, I thought about this, I was like, bitch, when like, my like great grandchildren see my photos they're not gonna be like oh like she wasn't serving like <laughs> like come on you know the the people and also the people around you do not care that much like like okay like like you might think that like everyone does but like literally like like your friends I don't give a fuck like they're your friends they're not like oh my god like you look this way like like, I, I would never think that about someone else, and you would never think that about someone else. So, just remember that it's it's internalized processes that are happening with you, and not, like, how anyone else actually feels about you. And years from now, you will not feel that way about you. So. And the other thing is, I know a lot of people talk about body neutrality. My leg is falling asleep, and it's really hurting. One second. I'm trying not to... I'm trying to like show my body in this video because I don't want to. I don't know. Like sometimes we just need like a safe space with our bodies where we can just be like little floating heads. Um, but anyways, um, but literally like I I think that body neutrality is important. I don't hate body positivity. I think that it depends on what works for you. I also think it depends on the day, on the moment, on the hour. Sometimes you're like I'm hot as fuck. Sometimes you just need to look in the mirror and be like, that's a body. Moving on. Like. I really think it depends and it depends on how you feel it depends on what you're wearing and it really just depends like i think that your body neutrality is great i think it's a pretty good baseline but i also think that self-love is another thing you should work up to i think that both are important i think that you should think you're happy fast but i also think that you should recognize that you are also just an organism who's living you know what i mean and i guess that doesn't matter to everyone and that doesn't i don't think it's necessary but i also think that it is I don't know how to say this like think about this if you were a like a salamander you wouldn't like well you wouldn't have a consciousness of self but i don't know what i'm saying if you were a salamander you would not be like oh my god like a little bit chunky like i'm joking if you're a squirrel i've seen some chunky squirrels those squirrels don't give a fuck they're gonna last longest the winter and you know no one no one's like 
any other animal just worries about the function of their body, you know, if it's working well. But we focus so much on the, the, out, the outer part, the exterior, and not necessarily how we're feeling internally. And another thing that helped me a lot when I was in recovery is finding a way to work out that I actually enjoyed. Um, and not like work out, but like a way that actually made my body feel better. Um, there's like someone, oh my god, we should look up Jessica Volant Pilates. I love her. I feel like Pilates gets a bad rap as like, you know, like the, the girl one, like the the Pilates princess. But like Jessica Volant Pilates, I love her because she's real and she actually explains to you, like, like you feel good when you do it. And she actually explains to you how the movements are affecting your body internally not like oh this is gonna give you abs like this is helping your nerves this is helping your body move better and it makes you feel better so i think that's another really big thing to to have to focus on to to find a way to move that literally helps your body function to focus on the functionality of your body and of course this doesn't mean that you know your body is a bad body if you have you know like issues if you have maybe disorders autoimmune issues physical issues whatever it is but it does its best and you know and also I feel like sometimes we like we like we like separate our head and our face from our body as if they're two separate things we are literally just like one whole thing you're, you're one whole thing you're one whole body and you're one whole organism and you can decorate yourself and look cute and like paint your face but you don't it's just a thing and not not to dehumanize yourself or to unpersonalize it but you are working you're living you're breathing and i want you to appreciate that right now think about all the things that are happening in your body and how fabulous that is and how i thank my body because i you know put her to the war zone and she's back and better than ever let's talk about that um she still has digestion issues that's my b <laughs> my bad now i fart bad let's not talk about that <laughs> body neutrality is important that's what i was talking about body neutrality is important but also i do think that self-love is important i think that for me my i'm very into fashion i think that my fashion sense helps me a lot with confidence in every way um and i do like my, I don't look at my body as an accessory. I don't think that I need to dress my body in a way that shows it off. I just dress in a way that I like to, I, like, I just like to put on the garments and how I look is how I look, you know what I mean? I think that's, that's a good way of looking at fashion that doesn't make it about like how your body looks. Also, I think that um, when I started getting into vintage fashion, it, it really just tied the whole thing to history, more so like, because I was just interested in the history and not necessarily how I look in it. Just like, I just like looking like, like I look looking like a historical like character. Like I don't want to look like, um, I, that's, that's how I like to look instead of like, oh, I want to make sure that I look good. Like I understand that my look is crazy, but it's because it's the look, you know what I mean? Like, I think that when you really like express yourself, it really makes you feel free in a way that is not societally constructed. It's just like you constructed. And I recently started doing a, um, a burlesque class. It was so much fun. Oh my god, it's great. But um, it really, like, I feel like it's it's really helping me with a lot of things with, with body confidence and also um, just, like, just, like, you know, sexual liberation, um, which I think that we have a lot of ideas about, um, but aren't, like, a lot of people like to talk about sexual liberation, but I don't think that we have a lot of really healthy ways of expressing it currently societally in a way that isn't misogyny that doesn't tie to the patriarchy but that's just me that's just one girl's opinion but i i really do i feel great about it and i think that one big thing i i think about is just like ways that the fact that it's it's a very it's it's a very inclusive space you know what i mean if you look up burlesque you will find every single like body under the sun and it's a really beautiful thing to see people celebrated and of all ages of all of all genders of all everything like it's it's really fun and it's really great and i think that that's another oh my phone's losing battery it's another really great thing to explore and experience and honestly i think you should look up burlesque videos if you need some confidence because it's so cool 
and um it's just really like it's not like it's you 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 start to realize like so much of what we want is our bodies to be sexual and but you watch that and you realize everybody is sexual and it's beautiful and i also think about like how you know you're you're and i'm not trying to say this to pressure anyone so please don't feel scared or anything but you know our 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 bodies do struggle with the things that we put them through when we have an eating disorder and i thought you know i want to make sure that my body can get through this and get through this well and i think that when i recovered was really important because i think that i probably would have really hurt myself if i went further um which i'm proud of myself for but anyways i know i talk a lot i hope this doesn't stress anyone out um i don't know i just wanted to like i understand that i'm not a therapist and again i really hope that i haven't said anything accidentally that's bad again it's it's harder to know directly what will specifically trigger people when you're like further away from that frame of mind and again it's been a minute but i also you know you want to say to myself i would say to myself that um bitch everyone everyone loves you not everyone but like a lot of people do and they they just want you to be there they don't care how you look they don't care what what weight you're at they don't care what you eat they care that you exist and that you're there to talk to them and to be with them because that's the most important thing and you know think about think about all the things you enjoy that are detached from image you know and i, I think that's another big thing is i really think exploring history helped me a lot because then I looked at fashion as a historical thing where I looked at I, I you know I love I love music but I love music that is as much as I love like icons and I love like divas and like I love like you know I love that kind of like I love girls I love like I love Liza Minnelli I love Madonna I love an image I love a queen but I also love like things that are I think very detached from image and I think that that's really important to explore like less mainstream music exploring instrumental exploring jazz exploring like classical like things that are more detached from like yes it is so bodily influenced obviously but like less focused on like image you know just enjoying things beyond image enjoying art like artistic expressions beyond bodies it's a it's it's a big journey but it exists it exists it's happening it's happening currently we're all on the journey we're all still and i, I heard this once and I, I think this is a really good thing and i'll say this it came from like a, a youtuber i don't remember her her name she was cool though nisi pisa i haven't watched her videos in forever but shout out to her she was cool as fuck and i think she was just like she said something once that literally like i think about it all the time she said self-love is not like an island that you get to and you live there forever it's a place where you constantly have to discover and rediscover and you have to constantly work on it and that's so important so yes you one day you'll get there and you'll feel better and you constantly make progress but also it's something you're always working on and don't make that scary that's a good thing it's a journey we're always on it we're always going on it and we're always doing things all the time and we're moving on and it's been 25 minutes and i've been yapping so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go and I'm gonna let you go. And I hope that this has helped you a little bit. And I know it's a bit of a rant and a bit of a ramble. And I really had a list that probably didn't help me. But yeah. Um, yeah. You have a body that functions and that is beautiful. And that's all it really needs to do. Everything else you're doing is like, like your body's like, girl, like, come on. Like, try my best here. Just remember that everything it's so small that's another thing i think about too is i think about like how like like you know i like like astral project and i think about like how i'm in the stars and like how i'm like so small you know what i mean like i'm just like an ant really in this world and that's just it and yeah and i think that if you feel like you're really struggling it will get better it will i know it's crazy to think about but it will and like i'm trying to figure out a good way to like pull, pull all these strings together it will get better it does get better i'm living proof that it does get better because three years ago i did nothing and i was awful and bored and i did nothing and here i am and i have goals and i have dreams and i'm like 
I mean, like, three years ago, I, I literally didn't have the energy to do any of the stuff that I do now. And now I'm, like, making music and I'm making my ASMR. And it's so much fun. And there's so much life out there to experience. I believe in you. We're doing our best. And I'm going on a really long tangent. And I'm trying to rub it up, but it's not working. So I'm going to go. And I love you. And I hope you have a great day. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed your time with me. I hope this helped. And, yeah.